into your bar or beyond the bar class today. We're going to be together for about one hour. Um, some of the things that you're going to need today. So I have a wood floor, so I'm going to use socks. We're going to use this as a slider. If you have a slider, you can use a slider. If you have carpet, you might need paper plates, something like that. Um, I also have a bar stool. We're going to do some things on the forearms. So want to be up a little bit higher. You can use the back of a chair and just cross your arms over. So if you have a chair or something to support yourself with, you can use a countertop. Um, if you have a little bit higher countertop, you can always use that. Um, I'm going to use a block as well. My weights, definitely a mat. And then I just have a hand towel. We're going to actually kind of take the hand towel like this and something to go behind the back of your knee. So anything like this, you can use a kitchen towel, something that's not really big, um, but you want something that you can put right behind the back of your knee. And as always, make sure you have your water. So stay really hydrated while you're doing this. All right, so hopefully you are ready for your bar class. We're gonna start just stretching out a little bit. So I want you to reach and extend the arms out. And then exhale, pressing down. And let's just do this a few times. Kind of moving the body up and down. Pushing weight back into the heels. Seeing how the hips and the knees feel this morning. Let's do about four more. And three. And two. Gazing up. One, we're going to go to the right side. So we're going to reach over to the right. And we'll just change this up every once in a while. And let's do about two more. Last one, we're going to go to the left and reach. And try to get some movement in the sides of your ribs. This is just a really good way to kind of open up. Last two. Last one, we're going to go side, side. So side and then side. And you don't have to go all the way down. But I want you to just really open up here. We're going to do eight more. And reach. And rise up on your opposite toes. Four. Last two. Nice. Reach the arms up, straighten out, take the hands down. Let's stretch out the back a little. I know you guys are sitting a little bit more than normal. So take your hands to your knees and just roll your back out a little. And then pull your chest forward and roll your back down. And pull the chest forward one more time. Roll the back out. And we're going to stay here. I'm going to start off using the block. So I'm going to take the block a little wider than I normally would. And we're going to find kind of a squatting pose. So I want you to think about rounding the lower back just a little bit. And I'm going to take it really low. I'm going to find these little pulses. And I want you to just keep pressing the hips down. If you can start to bring the elbows a little closer, down towards the knees, doing that, which is kind of firing up the glutes. Let's find 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hold on 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's hold here, slide and up. So slide forward and up. So if you can, maybe the hands are on the thighs, and slide forward and back, forward and back. And you can kind of see my tailbone is tucking under. Last five, last four. If the elbows don't touch the knees, it's okay. Last two, last one, and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. And again, I'm pulling the belly button in. So pulling the belly button towards the spine, squeezing the glutes, and I want you to squeeze the block. Squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Last five. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one, hold here, and up, and down. And up, and down. And up. And down. Little tuck of that tailbone, putting that spine in neutral and kicking and firing the legs. So 
So I want to start off really strong legs here for eight and down, seven and down, six and down, five and down, four, down, three, down, two, down, last one, straighten out. So take a moment, squeeze the block, kind of kicking and firing on the glutes, holding here for a moment, closing the eyes, and just feeling the strength of your foundation here. So you can take that block out. We're gonna use the stool or your chair, and I want you to find your socks. You can keep your sock on one foot. So we're gonna slide back with the right foot first. Left leg is gonna be stable. So I'm just gonna put the sock on the right foot. This kind of reminds the left foot to stay really stable. Now as I'm here, I'm gonna squat down a little bit. So get yourself a little bit lower. Try to keep your belly slightly tucked in. And I'm gonna shift some weight into this left heel. I'm gonna slide the right leg back, find a little bit of a lunge, and then I'm gonna come up. So down and up. Back for two, up for two. So back for two, and up, and back. Back nice and slow for eight and up and seven. Just allowing the left glute to kind of work here. Pressing up. Keep this weight into the left heel. Last three and up. Last two, up. Last one, up, hold here. So slide in, bring it all the way into the knees align, and then I want you to slide back down. So let's slide in. And out. And in super slow and out. Now keep the body in alignment. So in and out. In one, two. Out one, two. In for two. Out for two. Five more like this. And keep bending into that left hip as much as you can. Slight curl in the lower back. We're going to keep this leg out on one. Last one. So bring it in, extending it out. So one inch and back. One inch and back. One inch and back. One inch, you know it's hurting. One inch and back. Belly is in and back. And leaning back as much as you can. Pressing it in, four, five, keep it back in one, four, and three, and two. Last one, hold here, slide in one inch, out one inch, in one inch, out one inch for 10, and out, and nine. Keep the weight back into that left glute, eight, out, seven, out, I know these are hard, six, and out, five, out, four, pull the belly in, four, three, hold on one, two, hold on one, one, hold here, and dip, and dip, and dip. So I'm just pushing more energy into that left leg, more energy, I know my left leg and my right leg are both shaking. Let's find for 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, you've got these, five, four, three, we're gonna bring it in one more inch, and two, and one, slide in for inch, and out an inch, inch, out an inch. So I'm not going all the way back, these are small movements. Try to keep the chest lifted, lift, and back. Lift that chest and back. Pressing up and back, last five. In, and back, hold on one, and back, four, three, and back, you've got this two, and back, last one, hold here, and dip, and dip, and dip, and dip, for 10, nine, eight, seven, oh, these are hard, six, five, I'm shaking, four, three, two, one, oh, Nice, work it out. Let's take that left ankle over 
lean back a little bit. Bring those forearms down. Sink the hips back as far as you can and move that knee out a little bit. Kind of relaxing in that left hip. All right, roll it up. Now I'm going to take my sock to the other foot. So that left leg is going to be the slider leg. The right leg is going to come back and we have that same sequence. All right, so position yourself. Bend your knees. Make sure your weight is in your right heel. And I want you to slide all the way back so you're coming into this lunge pose. So we're going to come in and back. So in for two, back for two. Super slow on these. So make them nice and slow, really allowing that right hip to marinate. So in and back. In. And back, lifting the chest, and back, for four, you've got these, three, and two, and one, we're going to come in one inch, so one, and back, one inch, and back, and when you're pushing into the right heel, make sure your right big toe is still stable. So that's going to track my knee. So my knee is going to kind of face towards the second and the third toe. Last three, press back. Last two, that knee is going to come all the way in. Last one, press back, bend here. And slide it in so the left knee finds the right. And then slide it back. Sliding it in, nice and slow. And back. So in, one, two, back. One, two, in, one, two, back, one, two, lifting the abdomen, in, one, two, and back, one, two, we've eight more, in, one, two, and back, one, two, in, one, two, and back, one, two, come on, in, one, two, you've got these, back, one, two, in, one, two, and back, one, two, last two, in, one, two, and back, one, two, last one, in, one, two, and back, one, two, nice, so we're going to do this little pulse in and out, this time that leg is a little straight, we're going to bend it in a moment, and out, lifting the chest and back, lifting the chest and back, for five, and back, and four. We're just going to bring that left knee in a little bit. Three, and back. Two, and back. Last one, and back. And slide in a little. Slide back a little. Sliding in, sliding out. You've got these super slow, and back. In, and out. And in, and out. And in, and out. Five more. You've got these. And we're going to do those little squats. And four. Get low in the right hip. Three. And two. I know you can see me shaking. And one. And out. And bring that knee in. Find those little pulses. Let's find ten. And nine. And eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold here. And in one inch. Out an inch. This left knee never doesn't, it never goes straight. So it's always in this bent pose. And I'm just really moving, super slow movements. Engaging that glute. You've got five more. And out. Lift the chest. Four. And out. And three. And out. And two. Come on. And out. Last one. And out. Pull it in. And let's find those little squats. For ten. And nine. Lift the chest. Push the weight into that right hip. Oh, these are so hard. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh. Coming forward. Massaging out your right glute. Taking that right ankle over. Pulling the hip back a little bit. Moving that knee a little side to side. Oh, holy hips, right? <laughs> So, rounding your back, we're going to take that other sock on 
one. I don't know why. It's, yes, it's you could probably use one sock for both feet, but for me, this works a little bit better. So we're going to actually take the right hand to the chair. So your right foot is going to slide forward. Left leg is going to do a lot of the work. So I'm going to come into what looks like a chair pose. Now use your right hand as a stabilizer. Get down as low as you can. Pull your shoulders back. Slide your right toes forward. Slide back. So slide and slide. Four, ten. And back. And nine. And back. And eight, sit up tall. So I'm engaging this left glute and I'm pushing the energy back into the left heel, keeping the left toe touching the mat or touching the ground. Last three, last two, last one. Leave it out in lower and left. So just the toes are sliding and you're coming down maybe another inch more. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and left. Four, five. And four. We're going to keep that leg out on one. Three. And two. And one. Hold here. Slide in and out. So keep the depth of this left hip. And that's really important. I'm sliding the right leg back and forth. But you'll notice the left leg isn't moving. Four, five more. Low. Four, get as low as you can, pull your belly in. Three, and out, and two, and out. Last one. Hold here. See if you can dip one inch and up. One inch. So you're coming a little lower. One inch and up. And you're going to feel this in your quad. You're going to feel this in your glute, but a lot of quad work here. Last five. And four. Oh, these are hard. Three, we're going to hold on one. And two. And what I want you to hold, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Come on, lift that right leg, stabilize in the left. You've got four more, and three, and two, and one. Oh, pull it in. Yes. This left glute is really working, so if you want to pound it out, pound it out, I'm going to get a drink, and then we're going to switch it to that other side. Remember, the song is going to go on, this time, the left foot. And so just take that song off the right. I'm going to face you. We're going to work the quad a little bit more. So this right leg gets a little bit of relaxing. The left leg, or the right leg, I'm sorry, left leg is going to do a lot of, or left leg is going to relax, the right leg is going to do all the work. So find your chair pose and just sink down and you can already feel like, oh my God, my left leg is killing me. So get down as low as you can and you're going to slide that left leg out and then bring it back in and slide and back, and side, and back. Now try to point your knee, so your knee is pointing towards the second toe, and I can look down, and I can still see my toes. If not, your knee is too far over, sink your hips back a little bit and pull your belly in. We've got five more, and four, and just sliding that leg out, three, and two, leave it out on one, and one hold here and lower and up an inch. So I'm pressing my left toes forward. So push and I'm kind of coming down a little bit lower in that right hip. So the right hip is having to work. Knee is still tracking forward towards that second and third toe. Pull your shoulders back, draw your belly in. Last three like this. And two. And one. Let's hold here. Bring it in and out. Bring it in and out. So you're in that lower depth. If you're not lower on this right leg, see so you can come down just a little bit lower. So the left leg is just kind of moving for show. Last five and four. Really extend the left toes forward. Last two. Last one. Hold that toe out. Lower a little bit more up. Lower. And up. So again, I'm pushing. 
some energy back into that right heel, squeezing the inner thigh. So the inner thighs are still working here to hold this knee forward, pressing forward and back. Try to keep the shoulders back. We've got a few more like this. Last two, hold it out. Last one, hold here and lift and lower. Lift and lower. So now that right glute is doing so much work. And I know your legs are shaking, mine are shaking. Last five, and lower, and four. Just touching the toes down, three, and lower. Getting a little bit of that low transverse abdominal, two, and one. Oh, bring it in. Shake out the thighs, shake out the glute. Nice job, get a drink. We're not gonna need the socks for a little bit, so we can put those aside. I want you to grab your towel. So when you do your towel, you're going to take and kind of wring it like a little bit of a washcloth, and you're going to take it behind your right leg. Now, as I do this, I'm going to take this behind my right leg, and it's going to kind of kick on that hamstring. I want you to bend to your left knee and face your right knee so it's facing down. Now, you can just rest your head. You can bring and try to pull the belly in so you're not rounding your lower back. We're going to bring that right knee down, meeting the left, and then just bring that right leg up a little bit. Keep the inner thighs squeezing. So we're going to go down for two, and up for two. Down for two, and up for two. And down for two, and up for two. Down for two. And up for two. And down, keeping that heel flex. So I'm keeping the hamstring really active. Down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up for two. Inner thighs are working here. Hips are working, pushing that energy back into the left heel and the left glute. So the left glute is getting some activation, but this right leg is still working too. Back of the hamstring is turning on, a few more like this. So down for two, and up for two. Down for two, last four, up for two. Down for two, and up for two. Last two, and up for two. Last one. And up, hold here, and point, and lift. And when you're lifting, you're lifting one inch, one inch, one inch. So that one inch is just past the point where you need to go. That's going to kick on and fire in that glute. Gaze down towards your forearms. Bend your left knee. Push that weight into the left heel. Let's lift up, and up, and up. Squeeze the inner thigh so that right knee is still in line with the right hip. So up and up and up and up. Let's find 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five, four, draw the navel in and three, up and two, up. Last one, hold here. Bring that foot back in. Grab onto your towel for a moment and just take your towel forward. And we're going to lift that leg back up. I want you to point and flex. And point and flex. And point, extend and flex. Point, extend and flex. Point, extend and flex. Squeeze the inner thighs. That left glute is probably talking to you. Last five. And four. Keep that leg out on one. Three. And two. Last one, hold here and turn the hip out. So I'm going to turn the hip out over towards that right side. Now you can take your hands to the bar stool. You can take your hand up if you want, working into that side body. And I'm going to press the outer right thigh up. So you can lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. And try to lift up through the rib cage. So I'm lifting up through the rib cage. This hip is open. The hips are actually a little bit stacked, and my shoulders are stacked. So lifting that leg, inner arch is facing down, 
Think about the pinky toe lifting up a little bit more. Lift for five and four. Come on, you've got these. Three, lift up and two, lift up. Last one, hold here in point. So I'm going to pull this right toe a little forward and move it back. Now I'm going to take my hand down because my bar still wants to move as I do this. So press back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. If you're able to leave that arm up, leave the arm up, if you need that hand to be down like I do to stabilize your foundation, do that. So swing back and forward, back, keeping the foot flexed, back and forward, back and forward. Back and forward. Squeeze and squeeze. Last two. Squeeze. Last one. Rotate that hip back. You're going to take the right toes and you're going to cross the left and I'm going to bring them back up. So I'm going to cross the back of the left and bring it back up. So cross and up. Cross and up. Cross and up. So I'm crossing the midline. Pulling the belly in, bending the left knee a little bit, cross and up, cross and up. Last three, last two, last one. Bring that right foot down, rounding the back a little bit as you come up. Oh, shaking it out. We're in that other side. So we're going to come down. I want you to bring the elbows down towards the knees. This is one where you really have to work on pulling the belly in so you're not feeling pressure in the lower back. Also making sure you're at an angle that's really supportive for the lower back. So just take a moment, kind of come into these little cat cows. So kind of pulling your body in and up, drawing the navel in, squeezing the abdomen, pulling your head down, and then just allowing the back to come more into a neutral pose. Do one more like that. And hold here for a moment. Pull the head all the way through. And then inhale, gazing forward, and start to roll yourself up. Nice. So we're going to come to that other side. This time I'm going to take the towel, and I'm going to bring it behind the back of the left leg. So I'm going to turn on and fire the back of the hamstring on that left side. Now, when I do this, I want to make sure I'm bending the right knee. And that right knee is not really far forward. And I'm going to pull my belly in. Now, as I'm here, I can take the hands and I can rest the hands down. So I'm pulling the belly in, supporting the lower back. And I'm going to bring that knee in for two and up for two. And down for two and up for two. And down for two. And up for two. And down for two. And the left knee is aligning with the right leg. So it's not crossing. I'm not using momentum. I'm using strength. So down for two. And up for two. Squaring the hips. And up for two. And down for two. And up. I'm pulling that belly in. Down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up, pushing that weight back into the right hip, keeping that right big toe down. Lift. And down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up for two. Ten more. Down for two. And up for two. Really engaging that right glute by going a little slower. And I'm also pressing in and squeezing, activating the hamstring. Now, at any time you need to readjust your towel, if you need to get rid of the towel, that's okay. Level out and push your weight back in your hips so you're not feeling a heaviness in your arms. Squaring the hips, squaring the shoulders. Last four. And lower. And lift. And down for two. And up for two, last two. Down for two. And up for two, last one. Down for two. Lift up, hold here, and point. And lift, and lift. So I'm still squeezing that towel. Squeezing it in and lifting the toes up. Now that left hip is still pointed down and draw the belly in. 
So I'm protecting the lower back. You can gaze down, bend generously into that right knee and push some energy and that weight back into the right hip. And lift, and lift. We're gonna go a little faster on the knees. So go 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six. Push into that big right toe. Four, and three, and two. One more set. So 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. You're gonna take that towel, grab onto it. I want you to extend that leg long. So we're gonna lift and curl, and straighten, and curl, and straighten, and curl, and extend, and curl, and extend, and curl, extend, and curl, for five, and four, we're gonna open those hips, and three, this is gonna feel so good, and two, and one, straighten that leg, straighten out the right leg, and maybe see if you're in a stable, mine is not stable, but if you're able, take that arm up, take your leg up. Let's flex this foot. So try to lift up as much as you can, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips. Micro bend the right knee. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. So this I can stabilize a little bit better because that chair isn't going to move if the body isn't moving. And I have to pull the core in. I have to really tighten my core. So I want you to find little lifts with this leg. So lift and lift and lift for 10 and 9 and 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to find those swings for 4, 3, 2, 1. This is where this hand is going to come down. I'm going to swing this leg forward a little bit and then back. So find forward. And back, forward, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. Last five. Come on, you can do this. Four, press back. Three, press back. Two, try to keep that pinky toe so it's up towards the ceiling. Last one, pull back, rotate your hip back. We bend your knee. You're going to take that left foot, cross over towards that right side, and then press up. So cross and straight, and cross and straight, and cross. Zip the belly in, gaze down. Last eight like this, and lift. Seven, lift. Six, lift. Five. This kind of gives the lower back a little bit more relief. Four, three. Up, and two, up, last one, and up, and oh, bring that hip down, round the back a little bit as you come up, oh, good job. Let's take those hands to the knees again, find those little, you know, cat cows, so just think about rounding your back and pushing your belly in towards your lower back, so pushing back a little bit, I'm going to round the shoulders. And then just coming into a little bit of a neutral, press the tailbone back. So rounding it in again. And finding that forward. And one more, round it in, holding here. And then slowly taking yourself up. All right, you are still going to need your towel. We're going to grab onto our block, but I'm not going to need my bar stool. So I'm going to kind of slide this out of the way. So I'm going to have and take my mat down to the ground. You're not going to need your socks, and this is a good time. If you can, get a little bit of a water break. Now, we're going to do quite a bit of our upper body down. So today, a lot of your upper body is going to be down on the ground. So I, unfortunately, only have five-pound weights. Um, I really recommend, like, three-pound weights if you have these. Um, because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, so I might actually set my weights down if I need to during this. I need to see about trying to find my three pound weights. I have them, I'm just not sure where they are. So we're gonna engage the core a little bit. And as I engage the core, I want you to think about squeezing and having your block. Now, if you do not have a block, 
something that you can do, and if you fold your towel like this, this actually starts to take it in a lot, and you have a good support. Now you can use a thicker towel and get even more support through your legs if you don't have a block. So this is always an option if you don't have a block. The block, I'm gonna take between the thighs, so right about here, the legs start to bow a little bit. A lower than the knees, but I'm giving my thighs a lot of space. Now I'm gonna reach my hands to the weights, and I'm gonna find my boat pose. When I'm doing this, I'm pulling the belly in, and I'm flattening out my back as much as I can. Heels are pressing down. So I'm here, I want you to reach the elbows forward, and we're just gonna do little lifts. So lift, lower an inch, lift, lower, lift, lower, for 10, and back, and nine, and back, and eight, back, seven, back, and six, back. Keep those elbows up, and back, and five, so they're never really coming into a rest. Four, back, and three, and back, and two, back, last one, and back, we're hold, lift, and lift. So lift the heels, lift the arms, lift the heels, lift the arms, squeeze that block, pull the lower navel towards the spine. Eight more, lift, and lift, lift, and lift. Four, five, and lift, and four, and lift. We're gonna keep those legs up on one, and two, lift, last one, lift, and bring those legs up, find a curl. So I'm gonna bring the arms out a little bit, and I'm gonna take the right arm and left. Now squeeze the block, because your body's gonna to wanna to shift. So squeeze, and squeeze, four, 10, Squeeze that block, nine. So the inner thighs, those transverse abdominals are locking on, it's that lower abdominal region. This is the area a lot of us have the most difficulty. Try to keep those shins lifted, lift the heart. Last four, last three, you've got these, I know these are hard. Last two, last one, and oh my goodness, I have eight pounds, no wonder these are hard. All right. I still have my eight pounds, I don't have my fives. I'm gonna get my fives. Woo! I'm like, why is this so hard for me today? <laughs> All right, oh my goodness. All right, so lean back, find those curls, lift. Now this is together, down and up. Keep those legs up. So curl and down. Curl. So those arms are slightly up. So getting that little peak of the bicep. Last five. Squeeze. Last four. Squeeze. Last three. Squeeze. Last two. Squeeze. Last one. Squeeze. We're going to come into our low boat. So my back is down. If you're not able to do a low boat with your legs extended, I want you to squeeze the block, push the heels down, lift the torso a little bit. So from here, we're gonna lift and draw the elbows down, lift. Squeeze that block for 10, nine, eight, seven, you've got these, <laughs> six, and five, I know these are hard. And four, we're gonna bring those knees in just a moment. Three, and two, and one. Place the feet down, take the head down for a moment. Bring the arms out to the side. So we're gonna lift the shoulders. So I want you to lift and lower. Press into the lower back. Lift. Exhale. So shh, and down. Shh and down, shh, and down, shh, squeeze that block, last three, last two, press into that lower back, last one, lower, up, and down, so ten, and out, nine, squeeze, squeeze the chest as it comes up, squeeze the block as it comes up, squeeze, now we're going to keep the lower back down, 
in four, and three. Keep the head down. And two, make sure the lower back stays down. One, and lift. Lower, and lift. So the legs are coming down as the arms are extending up. Down, and up. You've got it. So they're going in opposition, but the lower back is pressing down the whole time. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Keep those legs up. Keep the arms up. So we're working to triceps. If this is too much with the legs up, I want you to bring the legs down. But I want you to see, can you keep the knees and the hips into alignment? So I'm going to bring the hands down and up and down. And I'm going to come onto my mat here. So down and up and down. Now squeeze that block. So down and squeeze. Down, squeeze, down. So as you squeeze, you're going to notice the ab turn on, squeeze that block, down, squeeze that block, elbows are facing up towards the ceiling, squeeze, squeeze that block, you've got this, down, squeeze, down, squeeze, if you can, squeeze down and up, so squeeze and squeeze, 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 Squeeze that block. Five more. Oh, these are hard. Four. Now, if you're not squeezing that block, you're not feeling these. Last two. Last one. Hold here. We're going to hold here. So the hands come down towards the shoulders and up. Shoulders and up. So I'm touching the shoulders. Now I'm going to bring the heels down. Lower back comes down. So up and down. Up. Now the toes are lifted. Push the lower back down. If your lower back comes up off the ground when you're doing these, don't bring your heels down so low. So really work on pressing down. Up and down. Squeeze. That squeeze is going to protect the lower back and really help the abdomen get that lower back down. Last five. Four. Three. Oh, these are so hard. Two. And one, nice. Bring those weights down. Woo! All right. So I'm gonna come over onto my left side. We're gonna lower and lift the left hips. So I'm gonna stack the legs. And I'm gonna stack so that left knee is down, and I'm gonna bring it down to the left forearm. Left forearm and shoulders aligned. If you want a little bit more, you can take a weight to your leg. So I'm gonna press up and down, up and down, and try to squeeze the knees together. And you can bring that weight to the hips. Press up and down, up and down. So squeeze the thighs as you're doing this. Squeeze and squeeze. 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 Four, ten. We're going to stay up. Nine. Eight. Zip the belly in. Seven. Six. Remember, you can use a weight or not use a weight. Last five. Last four. Stay up on one. And three. And two. And one. Right arm is going to come up. I'm going to bring right elbow towards knee and extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Four, ten. Back. Nine. Back. Eight. Back. Seven. Back. Six. Pressing up. Get as high as you can. And four. And three. And two. Last one. Find those babies. So ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, lower those hips down. Let's find that other side. So we're working obviously into the shoulder. If this is too much, keep the hips down. Don't use the weight. 
Okay, so there's a lot of ways that I can start to modify as I do this. Now I want to stack, so my knees are in alignment, and I'm going to move my hips forward a little bit. I'm going to push through this right elbow. So I'm going to lift the hips up and just make sure that the shoulder and that elbow are in line. Now I'm going to take the weight to my left hip, and I'm going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. And really crunching into the right side. So I'm crunching in. Working into those obliques. Lifting up. And I'm also working the outside of the thigh. Lower and lift. Last ten. Nine. Eight. You're going to stay up on one. Seven. Six. Crunching in. Four. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Hold up. Straighten that left leg. Straighten the left arm. We're going to bring the left elbow towards the left knee and extend. In. Extend. In. Extend. So you're going to notice my palm comes out. So that's going to rotate my shoulder back. If the weight is hurting the shoulder, please don't use the weight and just get up higher on that right hip. So the right hip is having to work a lot to stabilize and keep me up as I do this. Last three. Last two. We're going to find those babies. Last one and hold. Ten and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice. Bring it down. All right. So you're going to need your towel. If you need something for your knees or underneath your knees, you can use that. So a lot of what we did on the bar stool, we're going to do this in a tabletop pose. So a lot of the same things that you kind of already saw, we're going to do with just moderate variations. So I'm going to take the towel behind the back of the right knee. I'm going to start on the left leg. So bring your hands so your body is in alignment, hips are in alignment, and again, kind of squeezing into that towel. Now I'm going to lower for two, and up for two, and lower. And as I do this, I want to really focus on equal weight between both of my sides. So both hips are aligned, and both shoulders are aligned. Now maybe start to tend the fingers on the left, and see, can I reach the left hand toward the ribs? Micro bend the right elbow, and lift. So down for two, and up. For two. Now lift that left shoulder a little higher so you know that that shoulder isn't dipping down and you feel this in the abdomen. So up for two and down for two and up for two and down for two. We're going to speed it up in just a moment and down for two. Last one like this for two and down for two. So up, down, up. Down. So I'm having to work a lot of core. That left leg is doing a lot of work, pushing that weight back into the left hip. Keep the right hip down, bend the right elbow. So 10 and down. And 9 and squeeze that tail. And 8. And 7. That's going to kick on my hamstring. 5. And 4. We're going to leave it up on 1. And 3. And 2. And run, leave it here, and lift, and lift, and lift. Now the back of that glute is lifting just an inch or so. So I'm kind of kicking it on. Lift, and lift. Four, ten, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Maybe take the left hand down. Over and down. So up for two, and down for two. Tend the left fingers, and down for two, and up for two, and down for two, and up for two, and down for two, and up for two, and down for two. Squeeze that towel. If you need to readjust, that's okay. I know I need to readjust. My hamstring is like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Last five. And down for two. 
and up for two. We'll speed it up from here. Last three, and down for two. Last two, keep bending that right elbow. Keep the shoulders square and forward. And we're in a double time, so it's up and down, and up and down. For 10, and down, and nine. Squeeze energy into your inner thighs. And actually push a little bit more energy into the right side. Keep those left fingers tented if you can. Last five. And four. And three. I'm going to have to readjust. Two. Keep going. One hold here. Lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Four. Ten. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Pull the belly in. Three. Two, one. Bring that knee over, so touch, extend. So touch, extend. It's kind of like I'm making a rainbow with the knee. So I'm touching the outside of that left leg, and then bringing the right knee towards, a little bit towards that right shoulder. Tent the fingers on the left, and keep pulling the energy right in as though both legs were down. Last five. And four. And three. And two. Last one. Hold here. Forward and back. Forward and back. Little sawing movement. For eight and back. And seven. We're almost down on the forearm. Six and back. And five and back. Four. You're going to take that towel out in a moment. Three. And you're going, thank gosh. Two. And one, bring that forearm down. Oh, well, it's going to come out on its own. So extend your leg, still working into this left hip. So push your hip flexors forward. So push your hips forward and activate that back right glute. Now lift the right and down. And up and down. And I'm going to tent the fingers on the right side, stabilizing here. Eight. Seven. And six. And five, you're gonna bend that knee. Four, keep the arch facing down towards the ground. Three, and two, and one. Bend your knee, flex your heel, lift that leg. Pulse, lift. So think about pushing the outside of that right thigh up as much as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it over and back, over and back. So almost kind of like those rainbows, but I'm just, picture your leg is going along a table. And this leg is sliding back and forth on the table. So I'm trying to keep the knee equal here. Last five. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one, hold it here, lift it up as much as you can, lift and lift and lift. Pull the belly in. So a lot of core work, a lot on that left glute. Ten, nine, you're almost done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, bring it down for a moment. Take your hips down. Oh, I know. Left glute really burning as you're doing this. Mine is killing me. So this time you're going to take that towel. I'm going to grab a drink because my throat is drying out as I talk to you. We are almost done. Okay, so you're almost done with your whole workout. You need to readjust, readjust, kind of Band that. We're going to take that underneath the left leg this time. So the right leg is the one that's doing the work. So I'm going to press the hands down, pull and zip the belly up, lift that back leg. And we're going to bring it down for two and up for two. Now keep the knees so they're not passing each other. Squeeze the inner thighs. Now maybe start to tent the fingers on the right and push a little bit more energy into that left side. Bend the left elbow and see if you can take your right hand to your ribs. So it's down 
for a two, and up for a two. Now, if you need a little bit more help, you can tempt those fingers. But if you can, notice, can I lift that right shoulder? Does it help me stabilize? I like to take the hands right under the ribs. So it kind of shows me where my rib cage is facing. If it's facing down or it's facing a little towards the side, which is actually going to tilt the body. So notice where your ribs are facing. That's kind of where your spine is facing. Now micro bend that left elbow, spread the fingers on the left side. Lift that right shoulder a little bit more. We've got five more of these. Down for two, and up for two, and down for two, and up for two. Down, last three. Then we're going to speed it up. And down for two, and up for two. Last one. For two, and up for two. So down, and up and down, and up, down, and up, and squeeze that towel. Squeeze it in so you're activating the glutes, activating the lower portion of the glutes, and also activating the glute max. I'm also really turning on the hamstrings and causing these hip flexors to have to work a little bit more. My inner thighs and my outer thighs, so your adductors and abductors, are all turned on on that right leg to hold you in place. So we've got five more, and four, and three. Pulse it on one, two, and one. Keep it up and baby lift, lift. Now lift. Now if you start to wobble a little bit, start to push that right shoulder back and lift that heel. Pull the lower navel in and lift. And lift, and lift. You've got these ten, and nine, and eight. Squeeze the inner thighs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to bring that right hand down. Left knee comes down. I'm going to bring it to the side and down, and side and down. Now as you're here, I'm trying to push a little bit more energy into that left knee. And I want you to think about if somebody is pulling that left knee a little bit more towards the left side. Notice it's going to take some pressure off the outside of the right hip. So I want it to work the glute, but I don't want to damage or compress the joint on the right hip. So lean a little bit of your energy. Pull your belly in. So I'm leaning the energy away from that right hip by pulling in with that left leg a little bit more. Last five. And four, and three, and two. Leave it up on one, and one hold here and pulse, and pulse for eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna forward and back, forward, back. Squeeze that tap, squeeze it in. Keep bending. Keep turning that body. Bring that knee forward. Push weight away from the outside of that right hip. Last two. Last one. Bring it behind. Find those rainbows. So point and touch. And over and touch. So that left knee is coming to the outside of that right shin and ankle. And I'm pulling the left knee towards the left shoulder. Keep squeezing that towel. I'm about to lose mine. So keep going. <laughs> squeezing that towel. You've got eight more. And seven. And six. And five. We've got one more set of those fire hydrants. Four. I forgot. Ten. Three. And two. And one. Leave it up and go. Down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up. I know these slow ones are hard. Down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up for two. Try to keep the torso level. Last five. And down for two. And up for two. And down for two. And up for two. Down for two. And up 
for two, last two, down, for two, and up, for two, last one, down, for two, and up, for two, you're going to bring it down to the forearm, up, oh, you can just drop that down, tap the fingers on the left, and push your hips forward, flex your left foot, now lift, and lift, and lift. And get the outside of that left glute active as you're stacking the hips. Now I'm bringing this left fingertips so I'm supporting myself here on this right leg. Make sure you're not pushing back towards the right glute and you're really trying to open the hips a little bit. Lift and lift. Keep that inner arch facing down. So gaze back and notice is the heel up or even the toes up. Try to get the toe, so the big toe, and the heel align. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to bend that knee. 4, and 3, and 2, and 1. Bend that knee, flex that foot, lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. For 8, and 7, and 6, and 5. We're going to bring it forward. 4, and 3. And two, and one. So you're going to bring forward for two, and back for two. So we have those tables. So remember I said sliding your knee like it's going across a table. And back for two. Forward for two. And back for two. And forward for two. Squeezing into the abs and back. And forward for two. And back. For two, and forward for two, and back for two, and forward for two, and back for two. You've got these forward for two, and back for two. Last three, and back for two. Last one, and back for two. Let's bring that knee forward. Find those fire hitters down, and up, and down. And up. Now these are really challenging. Down and up. Because that right glute is already really uncomfortable. It's overworking. So pushing the hips forward. Down and up. And down. And up. For eight. And up. We've got those babies. And up. And seven. We're going to keep it up on one. And six. And up. And five. And up. Four. And up. Three. And up, two, and up, last one. Hold it here, pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four. We've got those saws, we're almost done. For two, and one, saw forward and back. Little forward, little back, little forward, little back. For eight, and back, and seven, and back, and six. And I squeeze the abdomen in. You've got these. For four, ah, three, my right glute is killing me. And two, and one. Oh, take it down. Nice work. Really, really good job, ladies. Move your arms a little side to side. Take your chin in towards your chest. Move your glutes a little side to side. Take your hands so your hands rest on your elbows. And then pump up your shoulders so you're pulling your head through. Press through your arms. Walk out your hands a little bit, especially if you have any tension in your wrists. We're going to crawl our toes. I want you to come back into a downward facing. And see if you can lift those hips. If you're not in a position where you can come into a downward facing, find a really good puppy pose. So those knees might stay down, but the arms are extended long. Let the head hang down really low and move your head a little side to side. And just pedal out your knees. When you're ready, take your legs out a little bit wider. Let your body hang down. And I want you to sway your weight from left to right. Move your head a little back and forth. Take hands towards shins. Maybe straighten the legs. Gaze forward halfway. Exhale, bend and bow. Take the hands to the knees. Roll it up a little bit more. Chin in towards the chest. And then lower back down. Head comes down. Hands wrap onto the elbows. See so if you can sway a little side to side. Oh, that was challenging. Gaze forward. Inhale. 
And exhale, and this time let's roll it all the way up. Feel each vertebra super slow. Start to feel the hips. Boy, am I going to feel that in the morning. Roll out your neck. Go the other direction. If you want to come back to your chair and you want to take yourself into a pigeon pose, really nice way to do this is just allowing the leg to come forward up onto the chair. You can bend your body as much as you need to. Keep your right foot flexed if you can and just allow yourself to come down. Now, if you want a little bit more, you're going to bend your knee a lot and you're going to bring your ribs forward. And I'm going to feel a lot in this. And just breathe into your space. You can bend that knee as much as you need to. Push your weight back into that left heel. And then pulling yourself away from your right leg. When you're ready, really slowly start to straighten out. Grab onto the right leg and set it safely down. You can bring yourself over to the other side. So I'm going to safely bring this leg up first. Flex the heel. This is going to protect the knee. Then I'm going to fold forward a little bit. If this is enough, I want you to stay here. If you need more, you're going to bend your knee. Now, I'm pulling my chest forward, but I don't want to over round the back. So I'm still pulling the belly in. And I'm going to pull my right hip away a little bit. Root into your right big toe and your right heel. And keep reaching your chest forward. And you're going to notice this kind of a disconnection from the hip. You can even make these little micro movements and sometimes those feel good or just settle down into that stretch. And when you're ready, start to straighten out the right leg, grab onto the left and safely bring it to the ground. Shake out your legs. Oh, that was a great workout. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you liked this workout, um, please like and subscribe to our YouTube page, Bending Light Yoga. Um, if you're able to donate during this period of time, please do that. Share these videos if you can't. Um, comment, like, let people know that these are available. Um, and that helps us a lot too. Just spreading the word. Also message me with anything that you want to see. So if you want to have a class where we work on, you know, core a lot more or shoulders a lot more, anything that you want to work on a little bit more, please private message me. I am here for you during this time and have a great Tuesday.